Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lee Warner, and today I'm going to make an instructional video that I think would be pretty helpful. Um, in fact, in making the video, I'm thinking of a friend of mine and uh, something that I think he would enjoy. Um, and with that model in mind, I'm making an instruction video that I hope a lot of people would enjoy. So the idea behind this video, I think, is kind of a neat one. I'm going to take an idea that if you're a blues fan, you already know meaning like a lick that you've already played before, one that you've heard Hendrix use a lot, Steve Ray Vaughan, people like that, and it'll be a very easy lick. So I will show you that lick, but this video operates from the premise that you already know that lick. Um, and then the idea is I'm going to show you a ton of different ways to play that lick that you probably never have before. And so because it's a lick you already know, it'll probably be easy to integrate into your playing in these other contexts. So... Um, I guess the best way to describe it is just to start teaching it. So here's the lick that we're going to be working around today. You've heard that before, you've heard things like this. And that's kind of the idea, that's what we're going to be going with. So to uh, start off, I'll show you that lick. Um, I'm going to be playing around an E7, first of all. Okay, so we left off here, hammering onto the ninth fret on the B string, right? Now, if I move this up two frets, like I have been doing, that's kind of a jazzy one. The reason I say jazzy is because it has a sharp four, which is a Lydian sound, or Lydian dominant. Um, it could be seen as a blues note, right? Because a sharp four is the same thing as a flat five. So basically what I say is that you can do it. It has a certain level of dissonance that you should be aware of. Um, and it sounds like this. Cool. So just over an E7 uh, chord. Now suppose uh, we have a more interesting chord progression, not just one chord, but let's say like a 12-bar 12, uh, 12 blues, um, a really basic 12-bar blues, back to E, to B, A, to E, B. Uh, when you practice, I'd recommend overdoing it, you know, you're trying to learn the shape all over the fretboard for various chords. Um, just only play with it while you're practicing until you really got it down and, you know, have fun with it. But recognize it won't be that musical. It's not that musical when you do the same thing over and over again. Um, so ultimately, you kind of want to do it, you know, less frequently. You just integrate it in with the rest of your playing. So you play like you normally do, but you have this as well. Cool? So 